the equations. We'll start with a two-step equation, a multi-step equation, and then an equation where we have variables on both sides. So to start with this two-step equation, we have 47 equals negative 7 minus 9x. If you don't like this, you can rewrite it. An equal sign can go both directions. And so if we want to switch, we take everything from the right side, move it to the left, so negative 7 minus 9x equals 47. I'm going to solve these side by side to show you that it does not matter which side the x is on. Step one, we need to get the constants on the same side by performing the inverse operation. The inverse of subtraction is a negative. The inverse of addition is a plus sign or adding. We have a negative 7x, so the inverse is going to be adding. So we're going to add 7 to both sides. And we would end up with, on this side, we have 54 equals negative 9x. The only difference here is the x is on the left side. Negative 9x equals 54. We're going to isolate the x by performing the op inverse operation again. The inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 9. And we'll get x equals 6, negative 6. We can double check our solution. So if we click on our calculator here, I can plug this in. So taking our negative 7 minus 9x, well, instead of x, we put our solution of negative 6. And you can use this Desmos graphing calculator, scientific calculator, to show you that we can type it all in, we can see it, equals 47. So our solution checks out. All right, here's a multi-step equation. First thing we want to do is combine like terms. So we have 2x and negative 5x. Now, I draw this line down the center to show us, draw this line down the center to show us that this negative 5x and 2x are on the same side. So when we combine them, I just have to do 2 minus 5, which would give me negative 3x. I didn't touch the 7, it comes down. These terms I cannot combine. So now, we need to bring the x's to the same side. So I like bringing the x's over to the left. I have a positive 9x over here. So I'm going to add 9x to both sides. It's going to cancel out the x's on the right. Negative 3 plus 9 is going to leave me with 6x. Bring the 7 down, bring the 49 down. Now we need to bring the constants to the same side. To do that, I have a positive 7 or 6x plus 7. I can't combine that. So to get rid of that positive 7, I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides, leaving me with 6x equals 42. Divide to get x by itself. We get x equals 7. Again, we can double check our solution. We can go to our calculator. We can punch in. We get plus 7 minus 5 times 7. So instead of the x, I'm plugging in. 7. And see, this is the left side of the equation. So I plug that in, I got negative 14. Now I'm going to plug in the right side. Since there's x's on both sides, I need to take each side separately and verify that each side is going to get me the same solution. I get negative 14 for both of these. The scientific calculator helps you keep track that you have both solutions sitting right there. You don't have to remember anything. It's right in front of you. Negative 14 equals negative 14. The solution checks out. One more example. Now we have parentheses. we got to distribute to get rid of the parentheses. So we're going to start by distributing the 10 to the x and the 3. So 10 times x is 10x. 10 times 3 is 30. With this negative sign, whenever we have a negative sign in front of parentheses, we can always treat it like a negative 1. So we have to distribute the negative to both terms inside here. 
So negative 1 times negative 9 be a positive 9x. Negative 1 times negative 4 be a positive 4. Haven't been able to do anything over there yet. Now we want to combine like terms. So we can circle our like terms. I've got it right. The x's on the left side. These numbers on the left side could combine. And those two numbers on the right side would be able to combine. I used a different shape and a different color to help keep them separated. So 10 and 9x would be 19x. 30 and 4 makes it 34. Negative 5 and 3 leaves us with a negative 2. Now we're going to bring the x's to the same side. So I've got a positive 1x. To get it over, we're going to subtract x on both sides. And we get 18x plus 34 equals negative 2. Bring the constants to the same side. So the plus 34, let's slide it over. We get 18x equals negative 36. Divide to get x by itself. And we get x equals negative 2. Let's double check our solution. So again, there's x's on both sides. So I can go to my scientific calculator, plug in our negative 2 wherever we see an x. And we got minus in parentheses. We got the negative 9. Plugging in a negative 2 for the x. Minus 4. And that's the end of the left side. So that's this portion. So now we're going to do the right side to see if we end up at negative 4. As you can see, it checks out.